from the long lines outside of Target stores, camping overnight, to getting in physical altercations, you would think that we are talking about Black Friday circa 2005, but no. We are talking about the Stanley Cup, these tumblers that retail for about $45 and have made a lot of people lose some very well-needed brain cells. Hey guys, my name is Julie, if you're new to my channel, and I honestly create a whole bunch of different content on this channel, but I love making these video essays over different social media related topics because it's just entertaining as hell to me. So if you guys like that sort of content, then you guys would love my channel, and in that case, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You know that I couldn't make a video about Stanley Cups um, without sporting the one that I have, but let me just preface this by saying that this is the only one that I have. A bunch of you guys may think, where did this brand come from? Where did this cup come from and why are people losing their minds over it? The Stanley brand is actually not new at all. In fact, they were actually founded over a hundred years ago, guys. It's been around since 1913. Yes, that is right, you heard me. So that means that this brand has been a brand for a very long time, but it just recently became popular and got its turn in the spotlight. Stanley was originally invented by William Stanley Jr. in 1913. He fused vacuum insulation with steel to create this portable bottle that everyone knows and loves today. To this day, if you look on their website, they actually do offer these Stanley tumblers that look very reminiscent of what the tumblers looked like originally, which I think is a really great commemoration of where they started out. So now it's time to deep dive into why they're so popular. What makes these cups the end all be all and the greatest thing since sliced bread. Why Stanley? What makes this brand stand out amongst all the other Tumblr brands? We've all seen it in the past. Tumblr brands come, they go. There is Yetis, which I do have. And then there's also the Hydro Flasks, which I think became a very popular thing when the Visco Girls became a thing. And now the Hydro Flasks have been replaced with Stanley Cups, specifically the Stanley Quenchers, which are considered the 40 ounce ones. And this is the large one that I have, by the way. They're also 32 ounce ones. I I honestly should have probably gotten the 32 ounce because that 41 is like not that portable. My main point though, before I go off on a tangent, is that these are all fads. They're all things that become popular on the internet for some odd reason. We see all these people going crazy on social media and hyping up this one Tumblr and are like, these must be the greatest things ever. Pretty soon the Stanleys are gonna lose their traction and then some other great mystical Tumblr is gonna come out that everybody thinks they need. To just give you an idea of how popular these babies really are, I'm gonna give you some number figures. So at the time I'm recording this video, Stanley has amassed 761,000 followers. They've also repeatedly sold out of these quenchers within hours, if not minutes. And some of their wait lists have even rose to over 150,000 customers. Is that not crazy? These are over cups that hold water, guys. There's actually a TikToker that made this really intellectual video deep diving into why people are so quick to jump on these trends, but she does it from a more psychological perspective. If you're trying to figure out what makes these Stanley cups so different from every other cup that people are lining up outside targets at 5 a.m. and fist fighting each other to get them, well, I have a theory. There's an idea that I like to call social contagion. In marketing, it's the idea that people are gonna want something just because they see others wanting it, even if they don't know what the product is. And when you see videos of people fighting over a Stanley Cup, more and more people are gonna want it. Now, if I ever launched a product, whether it was a tissue box or a lawnmower, what I would do is I would hire 100 people off Craigslist to wait in a super long line, like they're gonna form the line. And then there's gonna be people there filming it on their iPhone phones being like what is this line about why are all these people waiting for this product and then they're going to run in the store and they're going to be kind of hassling each other trying to get this product and there's going to be videos of it and it's going to go viral and it only has to happen in one location with these hired actors and i'm not saying that's what stanley did but it is this idea of social contagion that you're convincing the rest of the world that there's a product that's so valuable that people are fighting over it and waking up at 4 a.m over it I really honestly had no idea that there was even a name for this. So let me know down below if you guys found this interesting because I really think she's on to something. So now that people have secured the latest and the greatest on the market, what's the next step? Getting it in all the different colors and all the different sizes. If you go on Stanley's website, they have several, several different designs and colors. People have just gotten a little bit obsessive about this and it's almost become like the latest and greatest accessory. I mean, people are now matching it to their outfits. They have one in each color, one for each day of the week. It's kind of insane how people have taken this to like a whole new level. Some people have even gone onto TikTok and showed off their massive Stanley collections. I mean, I really fell down a rabbit hole here, guys. The videos that I found on TikTok 
you wouldn't even believe if you didn't see. This is one of those examples in that I know that people are hoarders and over consumers, but I'm sorry, why do you ever need a Stanley cup that are overpriced, by the way, in my opinion, in one of each color, just buy a neutral one like I did, and then it matches everything. Like, why are we turning these into a collector's item? Now it's time to discuss the real reason that you guys probably clicked on this video, and this is the Target incident or incidents, plural, because this happened everywhere. So for anybody who has basically been living under a rock for the past month, all of these Stanley collectors or maybe just people that like pink tumblers, Starbucks and Target collaborated with Stanley to create these limited edition tumblers. There was a light pink one that I think had the Starbucks logo on it. There was a dark pink one as well. I think that that was just Target's limited edition. They all were in Target stores. So either the employees would display them on shelves in the center of the aisles for people to grab. And then the light pink Starbucks ones were at the Starbucks counters in the Target stores. Like with every single thing that is tied to the words limited edition, we all went a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs here and the tumblers were the Cocoa Puffs. Several people on TikTok were caught camping outside, waiting in massive lines. And this was only like a month ago, guys. So I think this was like in the middle of December. So these people were probably freezing their asses off. The videos honestly were very reminiscent of Black Friday in like 2005 to 2010. People are camping outside Target at 4 a.m. for the Starbucks Stanley Cups. Mom, you got two? I told her, I'm like, Oh, okay. Yeah, I know we're crazy. That's Don't judge us. No, 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 no. <laughs> Must have been a uh, Home Depot bucket. <laughs> she didn't know that you were coming. They're probably like this fool's outside waiting. Wait, I'm not liking this. But it doesn't look like that many. Though. It's like at least thirty to forty, 30 like they said. Ash looks like you imagine you're like one of the oh, it's, it's pink. It's so cute. All the way back. Whoa. But you can't even hear them. Go, go, go. 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 Go
Kiki Chanel's channel. She actually was in that live to begin with when the lady was filming it. And she actually ended up catching the whole entire thing and screen recorded it on her phone. So if you guys want to see like the full version of it, go ahead and check out Kiki Chanel's channel. I honestly feel so bad for the Starbucks employee who got assaulted during this because there was no need for this whatsoever. And on the rest of the live, there was a man that was like checking on her to make sure she was okay. And you could physically hear her crying in the background. I mean, she was very, very traumatized. Now you may be thinking to yourself, why are these women grabbing like five to six Stanley cups off of the shelf? Like why don't they just share with other people? First of all, they're really selfish people. And second of all, which is the main reason for this, two words resale value. This isn't the first time that limited edition products have gone onto the resale market before on sites such as eBay. And I mainly think about this in terms of cosmetic brands because that's just the world that I live in. So I'm thinking of like the limited edition collections that come out such as the Mariah Carey collection and her collaboration with MAC Cosmetics. Normal people will buy one thing a piece just to have it for their collection. I don't have an issue with these collectors as long as they're not going super overboard with it. But the not normal people are resellers. These people make reselling products their entire job. They take advantage of the fact that these items are no longer going to be sold after a certain period of time. So they're buying up all this inventory of these limited edition products at retail values because they know that people want them. There is a very low supply and a really high demand for it. So what do you do? Mark up the prices. They are reselling them for highly, highly inflated prices. And we're talking prices starting anywhere at $448 to a whopping $4,000. How insane is that? But anyways, that is the conclusion to this video, guys. What do you guys think about this whole entire Stanley Cup thing? Do you guys have one? You guys have a massive wall of them? Just leave your opinions in the comments down below. I like to keep it friendly on this channel. So if you guys are going to debate, at least make it a healthy debate and try to be open-minded and hear other people out. That's all I'm saying. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up as well as also subscribing down to my channel if you guys have not already. And as always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.